Mason Resources' flagship asset is the 100% owned Ann Mason Copper Project. Ann Mason is located in Nevada, which is rated among the best mining jurisdictions in the world. The project is approximately 75 kilometers southeast of Reno, 45 kilometers southeast of Carson City, and 7 kilometers west of the town of Yarrington. The Yarrington District is considered by the USGS to be one of the giant porphyry-related metal camps of the world, hosting numerous large tonnage copper deposits. The excellent infrastructure, year-round access, strong community support and clear permitting process are all factors that contribute to making Yarrington, Nevada one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world. Early exploration on the Ann Mason project by Anaconda started in the mid-1950s and in 1966 included a regional aeromagnetic survey. Mason has reprocessed that survey using modern analytical methods and identified a magnetic low signature associated with the Ann Mason deposit in defining a potential northwest trending porphyry mineralized corridor. In 2010 and 2013, Mason completed an IP geophysical survey over much of the northern half of the project, identifying a strong target at Ann Mason and further defining the northwest trending potential porphyry corridor. Several new high priority targets were identified and remain to be drill tested. Drilling at Ann Mason by various companies since the 1960s, as well as drilling by Mason since 2010, has delineated a significant copper porphyry resource that still remains open in several directions. Copper mineralization at Ann Mason is concentrated within a 0.15% copper grade envelope. Copper occurs primarily as copper sulfides, including mostly chalcopyrite and bornite, with minor amounts of chalcosite and rare covalite. For pit design and phase development, a series of seven fully concentric phases were designed. However, only the first five were incorporated into the final PA mine plan and the economics. The additional two phases provide for upside potential for the project. These phases were sized based on targeting tonnage for several years of mill feed and sufficient width to accommodate the large mining equipment envisaged. At a base case cutoff of 0.2% copper, the 2017 mineral resource is estimated to contain a combined measured and indicated tonnage of 1.4 billion tons of ore, with nearly 9.9 .9 billion pounds contained copper. In March 2017, a preliminary economic assessment on the Ann Mason project was prepared by AGP mining consultants who used the mineralization constrained within the ultimate Phase 5 pit. The 2017 PEA shows the Ann Mason project to be a large, long-life, high-quality metallurgy project. Highlights include 5.1 billion pounds of copper, competitive average cash costs, average copper recovery of 92%, high copper concentrate grade, all within a 21-year-plus mine life. Currently, the Ann Mason project is the fourth largest undeveloped porphyry copper resource in Canada and USA, with development capital costs in line with other undeveloped copper projects. Mason Resources also offers significant exploration potential, with the Ann Mason deposit open in several directions. The Blue Hill Oxide Copper Deposit is not included in the 2017 PEA economics, and there are several other earlier stage or untested priority targets. Next steps for Ann Mason include potential district consolidation, optimizing waste haulage profiles and dump configuration, exploration at priority targets, and advancing Ann Mason towards a pre-feasibility study. Mason Resources, listed on the TSX and the OTCQB venture, has a strong treasury with no debt and is supported by two significant cornerstone shareholders, 
all of which provide the company a strong foundation and flexibility for growth. More on Ann Mason Resources and its flagship asset, Ann Mason Copper Deposit, can be found at www.masonresources.com.